Um, hey guys, so today we're making two stars. What's this? <laughs> All right, today we're doing our first attempt at making mac and cheese in our serious slow cooker by Ninja. We found this at a secondhand store for 20 bucks, and we're finally boiling water. That took a very long time to boil eight cups of water. We're going to add one pound or almost four cups of dry pasta to that and see if we can't resume a boil here. And, and there's about a half a teaspoon of salt in this water also. And put that lid back on. While these noodles are cooking, we're going to get eight ounces of cheese. Shred this up and eight ounces of cream cheese. We're also gonna need eight tablespoons of butter and a half a cup of flour. And we'll just set these aside here so they can get to room temperature a little bit better while we're waiting for our pasta to cook. And apparently my little helper needs to come on up here. Okay, you got all your stuff? Okay. Yep. So, if you have the lid all the way on, it tries to boil over. Don't don't touch those, baby. But if you have the lid all the way off, it won't come to a boil. So you definitely uh keep the lid on. <laughs> Just keep an eye on it. Or after it comes to a boil, you could slightly take the slightly pop the lid. But man, that just takes a minute to recover. Not Jeez. Not something you can just walk away from. That kind of sucks. Okay, once you get that back up to a boil, just keep an eye on it because all those little starch bubbles will start rising up to the top. And I'm just going to shut my spoon into the side of the lid here. So now that our pasta is good and tender, I'm just going to set this lid aside because we're not going to need this anymore. We don't need to turn it off. We're going to leave that right there on high. But we're going to take this over to the sink and we're going to drain it off into a strainer. And then we're just going to leave it set there while we make up the cheese sauce. Now that you got that pan back into that slow cooker, you can add eight tablespoons of butter. Yeah, get your butt up here if you're going to help me, girlfriend. Alrighty, once that butter is somewhat melted, you're going to sprinkle in half a cup of flour. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Make sure you get it all around. We got this on high heat, but if you're doing it on a stove top, you might just want to do a medium. Okay, now we're just going to cook and stir for about two or three minutes. Okay, now, club bug, I want you to add a tiny bit of milk. Once it starts getting thick, stop. Add a little bit of milk. Then Wait until that gets combined a little bit. Add some more milk. There you go. I thought that would be enough. About a half a cup to a cup at a time when you first start. And smooth this out because that flour is still cooking. And uh, go ahead and add a little bit more. And stop. Blend that all in. And add the rest of that milk. I really recommend a silicone whisk instead of a metal whisk in your scratch proof pan. Yes. <laughs> And you just want to like, stir constantly until this comes to a boil. Go ahead and stir, but I want you to make sure you don't splash or touch the black. It's very hot. Do this. Stir. Yep. I'm you just want to make sure it doesn't stir. stick to the bottom, sweetie. And we're going to add one teaspoon of salt. And one teaspoon of pepper. Which I love pepper. I love pepper. I'm doing my little dance. <laughs> this cheese sauce recipe you can use for all kinds of things like broccoli 
Mm, this is the pretty much the same cheese uh, recipe that you'll get that jarred cheese sauce that you really can't find anymore. Yeah, because it's probably expensive. Yeah, but this makes a lot of it. Yes. Yep. Let's see. How much does it make? Because that's four cups of milk. And then this eight ounce package is, let me think, one cup. Okay. And then we got eight ounce package of cheese, so that's one cup. So this makes about six cups. I did not know. Six and a half with the butter. So this makes about six and a half cups of cheese sauce. The longer you watch it, the longer it takes to boil. Did you know that? Yeah, I yeah, think. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now, what else do we do? Well, we just give it a second. It's almost there. I dropped my spoon in there a few minutes ago, and that was pretty hot to fish it back out. So, yeah. yeah <laughs> it is definitely it. almost there. Just do not do it. Okay, okay. <laughs> Come on. Did I ever say that your hair looks beautiful? Um, yeah. Are you just in love to be home? Yeah. <laughs> I just missed it home. I'm, so much. We missed you so much too, baby. Yeah. Well, this is essentially gravy. Fun. We just made gravy. gravy. But first you got to start with the gravy. <laughs> and yeah. then you turn it into a cheese gravy. A cheese I never gravy? heard of a cheese gravy. Yeah. It's, I bet it would taste good. Gravy Gross. is just a white sauce. And so now we're going to make white sauce into cheese sauce. That's a bit confusing. Oh, it sure smells like country fried steak around here right now, huh? Okay, that smells like gravy. Mm, yep. That's <laughs> smells. It would taste just like gravy right now, too. Did you know that? No, I did not. Yeah. But. Do you want to taste it? Sure. Mm. Does it taste exactly like the gravy we put on potatoes? Yeah. Mm. That's yummy. Yep, I can smell it. It's exactly the same recipe <laughs> of gravy we put on potatoes. Now that we're back up to a boil here and our sauce is good and thickened, be careful if you get it too hot, it'll start lavaing at you. To our country gravy, we're going to add 16 ounces of cheese. You can use any kind of cheese you would like. We're using half cream cheese and half cheddar cheese. All right, now sprinkle that in there. And then you're just gonna stir this around until that cream cheese is all melted, which shouldn't take long. Mm -hmm. Then if you wanted to make it into uh, queso cheese, you could just add some diced jalapenos and what else goes in queso cheese? Um, I don't really know. Mm, cayenne pepper. And if you're doing it with just cheddar, you could add a little bit of mustard, cayenne pepper. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome, welcome. Let this come back up to a boil. Because the cheese won't melt if it's not hot enough. Yeah. There we go. Now we're back up to a boil. Okay, now you're going to go grab that pasta out of the sink. Okay, which you should go do because I can't. Oh, you can't? Yeah, because mm -hmm. I, well, if I get burnt. True, true, true. Okay, well, keep an eye on this if it doesn't boil over at you while I go get the pasta. Once that cheese is all thoroughly melted and good and heated. Okay, that smells really good. Which mine is almost. Come on, just melt. A this watched pot really will good. never boil. This is so true. Today especially. This would have been so much faster on the stove. Maybe. But I But this way here we can keep it warm. Because we can set it on keep warm. Yep. Make it a little bit in advance. All right, now, okay, now that your cheese sauce has come back up to a slight simmer, 
add back in our drained pasta very carefully because it's all going to try to come out into a lump and splash you. You don't want that. Yeah, this hot, hot cheese sauce oh my. is going to warm up this pasta that's been sitting in the sink for about five minutes. And we're going to have the perfect temperature mac and cheese. It's going to be ready to eat. Okay, will you turn that to the off, Chloe? How do you turn it to off? Well, first you got to figure out where the off button I is. Good job. All right, we are ready to eat. See you next time. Bye.